So it's my last day of work today. It's typical English weather. I was just thinking, has it been five years? Five? If I can today, I'm going to show you a little bit around the place that has been a place of work for the last five years. Well, except that it hasn't, actually. Uh, it's been my place of work for the last six months, but um, I've actually been working for the company for five years. I started at Green Life when I was two weeks out of school. And it was essentially the summer and my mum was saying, so Sam, now that you've finished school, when are you going to get a job? And you know, being sort of 16 and rather not liking the idea of work in general, I went, well, you know, or maybe, oh, I don't know when, or might do. And uh, she said, do you want a job at Green Life? Because uh, that's where she works, and still does. And I said, well, you know, maybe, and she said, do you want a job at Green Life? I went, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. And the rest is history. I've got to be very careful where I choose to walk and vlog. I don't want to scare the locals. So, as I think I might have mentioned before, I work in the warehouse, or as it is now known, the stockroom. And my job, essentially, for the first four years was uh, filling up boxes to a weight of 10 kilos and loading them onto a van. It was like Tetris, only all the boxes weighed 10 kilos. Now my job is pretty much the same, except that the boxes I'm talking about are just loaded onto trolleys and taken onto the shop floor. So that's pretty quiet this morning. This has essentially been my job for the last five years. This is usually how my tea breaks are spent. Last packing list. Let's see what we got. Quasia chips, green clay, pink salt and curry powder. Sounds fun. The packing department. One place I'm indispensable from. Sorry I haven't been able to get very much footage so far, but I've had to kind of work everything I've shot into actually working, if you follow me. Although, mind you, I could just shoot a load of stuff. What are they going to do now? Sack me? I suppose you'll probably want to see the shop floor. I will try and show that to you. However, a lot of the staff, much like a lot of Totnesians in general, don't actually like technology of any kind. They're a little bit like fairies. The second they see man-made technology, they sort of scatter away quick as lightning. My dad made those shelves. Got soya milk. Welcome to the dark side. Aisles, teas, spreads, hair yeah, stuff. Probably as good as you're going to get, I'm afraid. Bye bye, stockroom. 
Bye bye Stealth Room. So that's it. Glorious unemployment beckons. Well, for the next few weeks anyway. Then I can call myself a student again. Wouldn't that be nice? There is, however, one last stop I feel I should make before I end this. So this is actually where my time at Green Life started. You what? Ah. Uh, sorry, I didn't see you there. <laughs> I was getting rather sentimental there, but I felt it needed to be done. So we're at the waterside. Uh, we're just ordering drinks. I've ordered my one drink that I'm allowed for the evening because I have to drive home. It's going to be an Erdinger. I hope the weather doesn't put too many people off. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> no, my car does not have a cloaking device, it is just blending in with the background. Chameleon circuit, perhaps. Well, it's over now. It was really, really touching, actually. It has always been the people that make Green Life what it is. And uh, I hope to see them again soon. They Give me a card and there's a Oxford English Dictionary in there which is going to be useful for when I go to Signet. Yeah, it, it's going to take a couple of days I think before this actually sinks in but yeah. It was a brilliant time. Thank you. And thanks for watching.